Hi guys, welcome to a new React Sheet Sheet series, uh, part one. So, what is the purpose of this series? This series is basically uh, when people try to uh, deep dive into the uh, React world, they tend to forget what they learned earlier, right? So, the purpose here is to summarize uh, the technology and try to make it as simple as possible and easy to uh, remember. So now let's get into this uh, part one. All right, so um, here I have to install this. So this is a completely new React app. And um, this is the app component also come by default as well. So what you will see is this uh, simple uh, page, okay? So the first thing that I want to show you now is to uh, create the React app. What are the commands that you need to use to um, install it? Okay, so now let me just um, try to uh, close this first. And the command here is simply npx react create react app, and this will be the name of your app. Okay, it can be anything right here. So once that's done, you can press on the enter. And then uh, next is to uh, go into your project name, okay? So this is the folder name. And once done, then you can run it using npm start. Okay, so another option is um, using the yarn command. So the command would be re create react app. And this is the name of your app, can be anything again. And once that's done installing, then you can navigate to the uh, folder name. So um, it can be uh, my app name. And then when you navigate there, you can start running the project using your start. Okay. So this is how you um, create the a new React app. So um, what about next? Um, next is to uh, look into how to uh, render a uh, React component. Okay, so here in the index.js, you can see uh, by default it comes with the uh, render right here. So whatever that is inside here, this is the components. Okay, so in this case, um, this one is rendering the app component. App component here is coming from the app. Okay, so which is this file right here, app.js. Okay, so inside the uh, app component, um, this is what we got so far, right? So if I edit this, all right, so if I change this to simply say in a p tag, um, let's say react cheat seat, okay, just like that, and save it and make sure to run this again. So um, earlier I'm using npx, so to run this, it will be uh, npm start, all right? So take a look here, and this is the result, right? So I have made change um, to the component called app. Um, now let's go back here, so we now see um, how it works, right? And if you have um, other component, then you can also put it down here as well. Okay. Now look at the functional component. So what functional component look like, right? So here, this is basically the functional component itself. So it used the keyword functions and inside this function, it uh, used the keyword return. And this is returning the JSX um, elements. Okay. Inside here, it returned uh, one element right now, uh, the div tag. Um, so is this um, only way that we can write uh, using the functional component? Um, the answer is no. There's another way. Um, you can write the same um, component here, the app component, right? Using the um, keyword const. So basically using the uh, arrow function expression. Okay, so um, now let's just quickly write that. It's going to be const app with the arrow. Okay, the arrow here, and inside here, it stay the same. So we can just copy that and put it here. Okay, so these two components, they are exactly the same. So let me just uh, comment this one out and try to run this. Um, so you can see the result, okay. So here it is. 
it still give us the same result and uh, what is the difference between these two uh, and it, is there any like benefits um not really like uh, having a benefit but it's just like um whether you prefer writing it um using this arrow function expression or just use the function um, for my preference i prefer using this one right here the arrow functions um it's easy to understand as well okay but for now um let's just keep it as simple uh we can write it using the um the uh, keyword function uh, like this okay so one more thing about the functional component is that um, the name here the name of the component it has to be uh, uppercase uh, in the first letter here okay uh, it cannot be like this right so you have to write it with the capital letter for the first letter here and it must return the jsx okay so it can uh, return um, the jsx here right since the react version 17 uh, right now there's no need to import the react from uh, react anymore so previously in the previous versions um, you have to write import react from react okay right now you don't need this anymore so um, next topic is the uh, importing and exporting components so uh, component it can be imported or can be exported from the other files um, the purpose here is um, to promote the code splitting uh, basically we want to create the reusable component and also we don't want to have like thousands of uh, thousand lines of code uh, within uh, just a single uh, file so we want to split it into um, the other files and also for the usability purpose okay so now um we have now seen this one um this is using the uh, export default and then the, this is the uh, component the name of the component all right so this one here is using the um, default export so the uh, functions and this is returning um, the jsx right and down here it exporting default app and inside the other file right in this case we are using the index.js we import it up here okay so it import um, directly using the uh, import apps from okay and after that we can start using this uh, component and there's another export as well so the other one called name export all right so for name export, the syntax, it look a little bit different. Um, so here inside the um, app.js component, all right, the app component, um, what you're gonna write, it's uh, not export down here. We can um, comment this one out and up here, it is using the export keyword, okay? So um, export function and then the name once um, you are using this format inside the index.js you will need to um, use this format right here so instead of import app right you have to use this curly bracket okay so once uh, we have imported the app right here then we can start using the apps okay so now let's just save that okay so the reason here we see one error is it because we haven't saved it so let's just uh, save this and try to uh, run it again and now let's go back to the website and see okay it's still working fine so this is another way of um, writing the export so this one here is called again name export next uh, this is the last one uh, in this part one so this is the lazy loading so what is lazy loading it um, allow us to render a dynamic import as a single component as a regular component okay so let me show you the code right here uh, in the app.js okay so now let me create a new component um, the component um, to create a new one just press on this icon and give it a name so i'll call this as component.js okay so inside this component um, it's going to be the same as this right we can just simply uh, copy this as well okay just paste it here and we change the name to component okay so um, here we can just say 
component, all right? We don't need the uh, class here. So we can just save it and export as the components down here, all right? So inside the app.js, uh, if you want to use this new component inside this app component here, we can just um, Im uh, import a new one. And um, actually this file is not needed as well. Get rid of this. We need to import the lazy, okay? And suspense from React, okay? So here we have imported this and uh, we want to import the uh, component. So const all this as component equal lazy. Okay, inside here, the arrow, we pointed to the import component. And in the app component, um, we can get rid of this and then start using the suspense okay and it take this fallback equal to um, this one here we just say loading okay it's now loading and then we can start importing uh, using the uh, component uh, right here so it's called component Okay, so now let's try to run this. Go back to the website and yes, we see this uh, component. Okay, so this example, we only import one component, right? So if say um, you have multiple components, uh, what you're gonna do, it's very uh, similar thing. You can just write um, const another component lazy, right? And then we can import and other component okay and down here just simply put it inside this uh, suspend here okay so yeah that's how it works uh, maybe i can just uh, quickly uh, grab this code here and then try to create a new one called another component.js paste it here and let's just say that this is another component all right so what happened when i try to save this go back to the website refresh okay so first you see the word uh, component let me zoom in okay when i refresh you see the loading and then it load the first one and then uh, next is it load the uh, another component all right so this is the uh, lazy loading so yeah that is pretty much it for this uh, part one about react cheat sheet see you guys in the next video